Greetings and welcome to my channel, The Spiritual Tea with JD. I'm JD, aka John DeRoos, and as always, I hope wherever you are watching this, that you are keeping yourself busy, trying to create the best version of yourself possible. With the situation that is unfolding in the Ukraine at the time of creating this video, February 2022, this week I'd like to talk about ego. The word ego is used a lot in spiritual discussions, so I thought I would take a deep dive in this video to explain what it is. Why? Because it is my view that everything that is happening right now is all based on ego. So what is ego? Quite simply, it is your human identity. It is who you think you are. Your human identity can be made up of a name, a physical body, a personality, and all the stories that you tell yourself about who you are, such as where you came from, what you like and don't like, and so on. However, we are not just our egos. We are so much more than that. We are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. What do I mean by that? I discussed in my previous video titled, What Happens After We Die? How our souls choose to come to Earth to live a human experience. We do so for the purpose of experiencing emotions and limitations. We come to Earth to live out our lives, then we die and return back to Source from where we came. And we do this multiple times. Some of us have probably lived hundreds if not thousands of incarnations over numerous millennia. The point being that our time on Earth is transient and our human form is just temporary. The ego is simply the vehicle with which we experience this reality to help fulfill our soul's purpose and desires on Earth. However, our ego does not understand this and thinks that this existence is all there is, that we are just the skin and bones of our body and nothing else. The reason for this is that the ego believes in separation. It believes that I am here and you are there. The ego considers itself as separate from others and life itself. It believes that you have a body, life and personality that is distinctly different from others. So according to your ego, you are not like other people. You are different. As a result of this difference, it experiences fear and suffering because the ego believes that other people are not like me. And the consequence of this? Duality. In duality, we go about splitting or dividing life. For example, we can split the world into right and wrong, good and bad, love and hate, moral and immoral, and so on. This results in our lives becoming centered around judgment, condemnation, and fear. We alienate and destroy others who we perceive of as being bad, wrong, hateful, immoral, etc. to protect our ideas of what is right and wrong. Why? The reason for this is survival. The ego says, if you are different from me, then you might pose a threat to my existence and I need to stay away from you. The more deeply you hold onto this belief, the more we will experience problems such as hatred, anger, depression, paranoia, and anxiety. 
This causes us to separate ourselves from others and to cut our connection with our higher selves. So if the ego causes us to feel separated, wouldn't it be best to eliminate the ego altogether and operate entirely from our higher selves? Not exactly. If you eliminated the ego, you would cease to exist in your human form on earth. Even though there are some negative aspects to the ego, the reality is we need to survive in this world. It is how we interact with this world and those around us to experience the richness of life and the fulfillment of our soul's journey. Instead, what one needs to do is learn to coexist with the ego and the higher self as one. For a harmonious life, where we are guided by our higher selves, we need to ensure that we connect to our higher selves through spiritual practice. Meditation can help with this. We need to overcome the illusion of ego that we are separate from others and separate from the universe. We all must realize that underneath it all, we are all one. We are souls. Souls are all a fragment of God. We are more than just the color of our hair, our eyes, our height, our gender, our sexuality, and our beliefs in religion, politics, and our favorite sports team. If people realized this, then we wouldn't be cruel to one another, and this world would be a much kinder place, and we wouldn't be starting wars with one another. In doing this, we can start to release the anger and hatred that exists in this world and overcome racial discrimination, misogyny, homophobia, religious hatred, xenophobia, political hatred, and so much more. Once we have accomplished this, then we can focus on some of the bigger picture items, such as healing this planet from the effects of climate change, overcoming poverty and homelessness, and finally, putting an end to all wars. I know it probably sounds a bit simple, but it's our first step in returning this planet to a little piece of heaven. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more content if you haven't already done so. Take care everyone and remember to always strive to create the best version of yourself possible, one step at a time.